Hello friends, my name is Akshans and welcome to CAD Academy. In this lecture, we will see one of the most important theorem, which is the evidence theorem in network theory. Okay, so let's see what this theorem states. Okay, it states that a network consisting of energy sources resistance inductance capacitance let's see etc with open with open output target terminals defined can be converted in a simple network consisting of voltage source and a resistance in series so this is what the Thevenin's theorem states it states that a network consisting energy sources like voltage source current source and resistance inductance etc with open target terminal so what is the target terminal target terminal is the branch at which we have to find the voltage or current okay so a network consisting energy sources resistance inductance with open output target terminal can be defined as or converted into simple network consisting of voltage source and series with a resistance okay so we will do some questions thing will be more clear just explain it simply let's say we have a network okay then this network has energy sources resistance inductance capacitance okay this network this is a complex network and this can be simplified into voltage source and the resistance or impedance in series okay and this is the terminal we are calling it as target terminal so let's take a question for better understanding so we have a question which is let's say we have one three so this is the question and we have to find current in this branch okay so the question is to find i you can solve this question by kcl kvl also and very easily but by thevenin's theorem it's going to be different and answer will be same so first of all we have to find the r th which is thevenin's resistance okay this resistance is called rth and this voltage is called vth which is thevenin's voltage okay so first of all we have to find the rth so for rth we have to open out the target terminal like this okay and make the <coughs> and make the energy sources zero okay so when this voltage is being zero then it becomes short circuit okay no voltage is giving and when this current source gets zero then it won't flow 
any of the current through it okay so this is being open circuit and this is short circuit and here we have one ohm and here we have three ohm and we have to find the rth so here this is open circuits no current will flow in this branch okay so this thing is redundant okay the rth is one ohm okay rth is one ohm only okay now we will find the vth so for vth which is 7 inch voltage so redraw the circuit and this time we have to find the vth okay so for rth we have to make the energy source is zero but here we don't have to make the energy source is zero and we have to find the vth okay so for vth we have kcl kvl also but just simply write the kvl in this loop and here we have minus 10 volt plus of this 2 ampere current is going from this side okay so this will be plus and this will be minus okay so 2 ampere current is flowing this side and 2 into 1 is the voltage drop which is 2 volt so minus 10 minus 2 okay minus is coming first so we have to write the minus 10 here also minus coming first so minus 2 and then here plus is coming first so plus vth okay so in this loop we have written the kvl and which is equal to 0 okay algebraic sum of all the voltages in the loop is equal to the 0 which is kvl okay so minus 10 plus 2 plus vth is equal to 0 then vth is equal to 12 volt okay so this is the vth and this is rth so we will make the thevenin's equivalent so we have voltage of 12 volt as vth and we have the resistance of okay we have the resistance rth of 1 ohm and this is the thevenin's equivalent of the circuit but remember we have we have opened this 2 ohm branch so here we have to add this 2 ohm resistance and now we will calculate this i current so now simply we have 2 plus 1 which is 3 and the current flowing through this will be i is equal to 12 by 3 which is 4 ampere okay so this is 4 ampere then plus minus because current is entering at this terminal so this will be plus and this is minus 4 into 2 i into r is the voltage drop across this thing which is 8 volt okay so 8 volt of drop is getting at this 2 ohm resistance and the current is 4 ampere okay so this is the thing which we had to find in the question